Yo les amis, c'est Batman 187. Donc euh, nous voilà sur Batman The Tailite euh, série. Là j'ai téléchargé donc euh, les 4 épisodes. Euh, franchement, la jouabilité n'est pas mal du tout. Graphiquement, c'est pas mal non plus. Ça ressemble un petit peu à une BD. Donc c'est vraiment bien foutu, je trouve. Donc ici, nous allons plus tard. Nous allons poursuivre euh, l'épisode 1. Voilà, qui était tout simplement la rencontre avec euh, Katuman et tout ça. Et franchement, euh, ça me fait vraiment penser au début du dessin animé. Enfin, des dessins animés que j'avais connus à l'époque. C'est à peu près la même histoire, donc c'est franchement bien foutu. Et graphiquement, c'est comme une BD. Thank you, thank you everyone. Ça, c'est un petit. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gossip's crime rate in half. Les sous-titres français, mais. For too long, this city has been burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent. Les voix, euh, de, 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 de les voix de la série Gotham. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would. Well, there he is. Ah oui, dans le jeu, vous êtes dans le dialogue. Donc, comme ici, par exemple. Euh, Say hi, Bruce. Vous allez avoir un choix à faire. Voilà, ici, bienvenue au Manoir, bonjour Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. Tout simplement. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. Et chaque action que vous faites, je change l'histoire carrément. Thank you, thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. C'est les actions que les filles vont faire. Donc, par exemple, esquiver à gauche, à droite, en haut, en bas. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> then I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney Et stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, original. support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I just don't like being someone I'm not. What, what are you talking about? You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Hmm? Do you? It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. Her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street. But I trust your family. You believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but 
This night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. Huh. I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on well, now, Bob. Soon, uh, I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Oh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. I'd say it all depends on the man. Sometimes you need a person who will go off script. Such as dressing up in a bat costume? And taking out the criminals who ruin our city. Though the cape may be a bit much. <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, and tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you, too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Tonight is strictly off the record. We can talk, but nothing gets written down. I'm okay with that. I was just hoping to see what makes Bruce Wayne tick. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Well, I'm doing better now that you're here. Well, I'll tell you, if all these stuffed shirts weren't around, I'd give you the private tour. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um... is that blood? Yeah... it looks like... Uh, actually, it's, uh... it's lipstick. Well, no wonder you were late. Say no more. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Jesus, Harvey, inviting a known criminal to your fundraiser doesn't exactly look good for your squeaky clean image. Let me worry about that. A word of warning, Bruce? 
play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, <laughs> man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll get a drink or something. Christ. Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry the city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationships. Chalk this for me. Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick, and he's gonna get what's coming to him. Bon, ben voilà, on vous a fait le bon